Hello crafty friends, Alicia from Love Letter Generation, hope you're all doing well. I am on here with a project share using some global land dies and also we're going to do a little craft with me using this gorgeous um, bottles die set. I thought it'd be absolutely perfect for Halloween crafting so I want to create a couple of little like potion bottles so I have cut out some three millimeter foam some of my favorite cardstock and also some mylar acetate there's a whole heap of accessories that come with this die but I decided to um, just use some of the accessories I also cut some pieces out using some patterned cardstock but in the end I've decided I'd rather use like a plain color cardstock because I think it works really well with that pearl mylar acetate so I'm just um, gluing down my purple cardstock to the pink foam also don't forget to check out the description box where I will have the links to these dies as well as the global land website and a coupon code for you to use so I'm just pressing down that cardstock onto the foam making sure that it is on straight and flat so I thought for today I'd just use the star bottle and just the um, tall regular sized bottle that way it'll give you an idea of just how different each shape looks but I would have to say this star bottle is my favorite <laughs> So you'll see that I cut out three different uh, types of materials. You don't need to do that. I just prefer dimension when I am working with my cutting dies, especially when I'm making embellishments. I like to have that extra sturdiness. And I also love the shine of the acetate gives it that real sort of glassy bottle look that I am going for so don't be afraid to use different types of textures and materials when you are crafting I think it gives your project that little extra something special I believe you could turn these into shaker embellishments if you wanted to I just thought I'd go with nice sturdy embellishments that way I can stick them onto whatever Halloween project I'm wanting to I could stick these onto a card an embellishment book um, some kind of album or embellishment box so many options so I'm just gluing down my mylar acetate now and as you can see it gives it that gorgeous shimmer and I absolutely love it it is so pretty and I've been using it a lot again in my projects I used to use mylar acetate all the time like every week and then I just sort of hadn't used it for quite some time um, it is out of stock now or I should say they discontinued it so it's not available um, so I'm kind of just using what I've got left in my craft stash so I've just been having a lot of fun creating with it again but I do have to be a bit careful not to use all my mylar acetate because I don't want to completely run out and then I've got nothing left for years to come so you can see there I ended up using my little ghost plate from TK Maxx that was gifted to me um, to hold down the acetate onto my project it just helps it dry um, 
flat instead of it like sort of popping up and yeah sticking up <laughs> it helps to weigh it down and usually I would use like a heavy sort of marble coaster to do it but I didn't have any around me at the time so I thought oh I'll improvise and I'll just use my little ghost plate so now I'm just cutting out just the top pieces of the bottle um, for the lid so I just use those two pieces here and then you just trim the outer um, edges so it gives yourself a nice lid and I apologize for my voice um, it still quite often goes quite croaky on me I am still getting over this like horrible viral infection that I've had so my voice will change quite often and yeah comes and goes so I'm just trimming those um, those pieces now so I can glue them to the top part of the bottles and it didn't really bother me what color to use the lids um, I just used some old cardstock that I had lying around so I thought yep okay pink that'll do <laughs> so I'm just checking now to make sure that that acetate hasn't moved because it can sometimes do that but the good thing about working with acetate and also this glue that I use is that you do have a little bit of leeway to move things if you need to before it's too late so now I'm just going to glue those top pieces onto the bottle so the bottles aren't all one color and I don't really have an idea or plan of how I'm going to decorate these um, little potion bottles. So I'll just um, go with the flow and yeah, it'll take me to wherever it takes me. <laughs> and I find I get my ideas as I go along as well. So I'll do something and then another idea will come into mind and yeah, I'll just try different things out. I also don't have a lot of my Halloween um, craft supplies out at the moment. They're all in a tub buried like layers and layers below. So I'm just going to probably use what I've got um, around me at the moment that's new that I've recently hauled. And items in my craft room that are easily accessible so I'm just pushing down on those to make sure they're stuck on nice and straight and I've just pulled out some new chipboard stickers that I recently hauled from Photoplay it is called Lil Boo Thing and these chipboard stickers are so pretty they're right up my alley lots and lots of pink <laughs> so I thought I would just try some of these pieces and see how it looks on the little um, potion bottles so I'm just trying out a few different pieces and um, using some adhesive foam I'm attaching some of those little stars that I die cut out using some like silver holographic cardstock. So these are just the little foam squares that I am using and I had already attached them to the little stars just to make it a lot easier and I've decided that I want to pop them on both bottles and at this point I'm a little bit unsure as to whether I like the um, the little bottle chipboard piece that I stuck on the long bottle and I'll do that with a lot of my projects I'll um and ah and yeah change my mind multiple times so you can see I'll go back and I'll look for um, some different pieces that I could use 
and this one here I thought it had the perfect wording but it was just a bit too long for my liking so I decided not to go with that one and try and find a, another word that I think will really stand out and this pink and black chipboard that says eek oh, just makes the project pop it is such a gorgeous piece of chipboard and I love how it looks there on the um, star potion bottle but because I am known for changing my mind I don't adhere this on um, securely I just leave it sitting there for a little bit while I'm still deciding whether that's what I want to go with So I'm just playing around now. I'm not sure sort of what I want to do. And then I ended up seeing this chipboard here and I thought, yep, okay, that's the one. <laughs> so I decided to use this piece and take off that tiny little potion bottle chipboard there. The only thing is this one I did stick on really well. So I ended up uh, ripping some of the um, cardstock sticker off the back. But then I figured, no, that's okay because I'm going to be gluing this big sort of circular piece on top of that. You won't be able to notice. And it says, I put a spell on you, which I absolutely and love. And it's a great size. And... I'm also still wanting to use that little um, potion bottle chipboard, but I just sort of don't know how to use it at this this present time, but I do want to actually use it on one of these bottles. So I glue the chipboard piece on and there's no changing my mind now. I can't go back. <laughs> but so far I really like how these are turning out and the colours are just so gorgeous so now I've got that other piece of chipboard that I wanted to use so I'm trying to think of how I can use it because I think it would look really great on these shaker bottles so I'm going to glue it onto um, the word eek and it's going to give the project some more dimension, which I love with my projects. I just, I have to have dimension. I have to have different textures and different colors and different materials. And not only that, it just, it ha has to be in the right position for me as well. So you can see here, I'm like sort of moving it around a bit slightly because I didn't like the position it was sitting but now I'm like really happy with how that's turned out so you can see in the top left hand corner as well there I've got some little like honey pot embellishments I'll be sharing those with you towards the end of the video now going to add some extra silvery stars to stick onto my potion bottle extra sparkle never hurt anyone <laughs> it just really makes the projects pop like, look at that oh so pretty so magical so now i've got my little um tags as well to go around the bottles and i think i'm going to be um gluing something to those tags just to so they're not so plain and i also need to finish off this sort of skinny long um potion bottle so i've added a chipboard sticker to the side there it kind of looks like a fun star and i'm going to mix it with all the other like silver holographic stars as well and quite possibly some enamel dots so i'm just thinking about what else i want to do with this bottle and whereabouts i want to position the stars and how many i want <laughs> i 
Decisions, decisions. So while I'm thinking about that, I go and grab my Halloween embellishment box and I've decided I want to put some of those cute little like black resin spiders on those tags there. And I'm thinking of maybe putting one on one of the bottles somewhere, but I'm still not 100% sure. But I know I definitely want the little black um, spiders on those holographic tags there. So I'm just thinking about whether or not the white will work. The little white resin spiders. So I grabbed one of those out as well just to try. But in the end, I've decided no, the white, the white just doesn't work. So black it is. So I'm just going to glue my black resin spiders onto the um, holographic tags now. Now, who else is looking forward to the new Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice movie? I am so excited for it and I'm definitely going to go to the movies to see that this week. So the thing with uh, resin in this glue is that it makes the resin pieces really um, slippery <laughs> so they tend to slip and slide all over the place when you try to apply pressure so you kind of just have to gently put them down and wait for it to dry and it's also because of the um, holographic cardstock that I'm using as well so it's like the combination of the acetate and the foiled cardstock that makes it really slippery so I'm just going to add some more stars to this um, skinny bottle here. And I decided that what I need is like a smaller star shape embellishment. So I actually had some that I die cut out the other day and I thought I would um, test those out and see how they look with the bigger stars. So I'm just adding some adhesive foam um, to those little stars but I do have to cut the foam into like tiny little squares in order for it to fit on those tiny star embellishments. Yes it can be quite fiddly but oh, I enjoy it. <laughs> it doesn't bother me, I don't mind whatsoever. So I decided I wanted to add more stars. So yeah, just getting a little bit fiddly here with these tiny pieces of foam and these tiny stars. So you could use tweezers to get these tiny little pieces off, but I always do things the hardest way possible. And I'm always forgetting to use my tools. And I just keep adding more and more stars. <laughs> I hope you guys grabbed a drink or a snack. So once I've added all the stars, I am going to add some enamel dots or possibly Nouveau drops. I do 
love to add nouveau drops or enamel dots to my projects i find that it just um really finishes off the project so that is it for the stars <laughs> I need to stop and say, okay, enough is enough with the stars. So the pink enamel dots that I am using, they are from Officeworks. And they are the prettiest pink enamel dots. And I thought they went perfect with this project. So I'm just positioning them to where I think they look good and yeah I'm really happy with um, how that long bottle has turned out. So now I'm thinking of adding them to the star bottle and I know I want to pop one on that little chipboard piece there. But I am a bit undecided on some of the sizes and I do sort of uh, switch it up a bit. So I just decided that this one's a little bit too big and I want to add a couple of smaller ones to that tiny little chipboard piece there. Now I want a type of ribbon to wrap around the tops of the bottle and pop through the tag. So I find this nice black and white striped ribbon in my stash, which I think goes perfect for Halloween crafting. You cannot go wrong with a black and white stripe. So I just cut some of that off and then I'm going to wrap it around the top part of the potion bottle. Pop through the little tag and do like a double knot just to make sure it's staying on. And I just really love how it's all come together. I think it's so pretty. It's the type of Halloween crafting that I love to do. All my favorite colors.
So I then go and do the same with this um, narrower bottle and just tie around the top piece, add the tag and double knot again. I'm very happy with how these potion bottles turned out. So adorable. So I'm just trimming off some of that excess um, like flyaways that are hanging there. I think I'll even trim a bit off the top as well a bit later on. I love how magical this looks with all the iridescent and the stars. So extremely happy with how these turned out. And then I also created these cute little beehive embellishments using the beehive cutting die that I received from Global Land and i've decorated a couple i love how this one turned out i'm not too sure whether i have um, finished these projects or not but so far i'm really happy with how everything is coming together and so this is the beehive dye that i was using and i hope you guys enjoy these um projects that I have created using the Global Land dies. Please don't forget to check out the links down below as well as my coupon code. And keep your eyes peeled for more videos coming out soon. Thank you for watching and all your ongoing support it means a lot to me. Take care guys and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.